Object recognition is an important task in robot perception. However, most object perception for robotics today focuses on recognizing a small number of simple objects in an artificial environment with clean background. Typically, these objects have come from a closed set that must be scanned very carefully during a complicated setup. We desire a way to recognize all objects in their natural configuration in a realistic environment. Our key observation is that many robots will stay in a closed environment. For example, a household service robot will stay in a house and never go outside the house. The set of possible objects that the robot can encounter is finite, and the rate of introducing new objects into a house is also very limited. A robot doesn't have to recognize all the objects in the world to be fully capable in such a closed environment. Consider the following scenario. A user buys a robot and brings it home. In the first few hours, the robot does nothing but wanders around the house scanning the environment by taking videos. The robot chooses some frames from the video and asks human workers in the cloud to label all the objects in the frames via crowdsourcing. With that, the robot knows every object in this environment and reconstructs a 3D map of the place. Now, the robot can locate itself, recognize all objects in the house, and be a good helper for many tasks. To formulate this user scenario, this paper proposes the following pipeline, consisting of training and testing phases. For the training phase, we have two steps, map reconstruction and object annotation. For map reconstruction, the robot moves into the environment and rotates two circles at each spot to enforce significant view overlapping for loop closing and bundle adjustment. For object annotation, some frames are annotated by humans on Mechanical Turk and labels are aggregated in 3D. Objects are considered as movable and non-movable in a recognition pipeline based on their category names. Now the robot is ready for work. During testing, the input is four RGBD images from four sensors. The robot localizes its pose by matching the background non-movable objects with the reconstructed 3D map during the training phase. With this refined pose, the robot can explain the non-movable background in each frame. To recognize the remaining region, the robot matches the movable objects to the library to estimate a 6D object pose. Then we combine the results for both the movable and non-movable objects. The same algorithm applies to other cameras as well. Sometimes, there may still be areas that can't be recognized due to the removal of occluders. For example, in this case, part of the shelf was occluded by the boxes during training. Now that the occluders have moved away, new parts of the shelf appear. Therefore, we propose an algorithm to propagate the label to these missing areas. This propagation should be very conservative so that it can stop when it reaches any new object. After that, if there is still a large unrecognizable region, probably because of a new object, the system will send the frame to be annotated via crowdsourcing, and the new object will be added to the object library. The same process will be repeated for each frame during testing, and the refined pose is used to initialize the next frame. Finally, we show some more results for other sequences. Here are some reconstructions. Here are some recognition results. Extensive experiments suggest that making robot vision appear to be working from an end user's perspective is a reachable goal today, as long as the robot stays in a closed environment. All data and source code will be available.